I think I found the last cooler that I'm ever gonna need. For a while now, I've been looking for a cooler that I can leave in my Jeep for either overnight trips or car camping trips where it'll keep my drinks cold and my food cold. Nothing is worse than getting back from the car and your cooler is uh, out of ice and everything in there is warm. Who wants a warm drink when you get back from a nice seven or eight mile hike? I recently reached out to Arctic Zone and they sent me this cooler here. It's a Titan Deep Freeze Premium 20 quart cooler and I'm going to be doing some testing here. I'm going to be putting some beer, some water, some soda in here and seeing how long the ice actually lasts for and how cold the water and ice actually is in there. We'll be doing it for two days, for three days, and for four days and seeing how much is left after four days because that's about it for a weekend trip and how much you actually need out there, especially with a 20 quart. If you're going to be doing more than a four day trip, you're looking at a bigger cooler like a 50 quart, something like that. But let's go over some of the specs in this cooler and then I'll show you what I'll be putting in here and then we'll get to the testing. The cooler itself is a roto molded one piece unibody design here and it comes with a stainless steel handle, a little uh, foam grip right there. On the outside here I've got a nice oversized drain, uh, comes off pretty easy and put that back on for you. You have these easy T-grip handles right here which just pull right up. As I open it up, I've got this nice freezer grade gasket right here. You can see there's quite a bit of room in there, enough to hold quite a few drinks and food for a weekend trip if need be. I close that up, these go right back on, and it, it is secure. So this cooler is also certified bear resistant. Right here, you've got a spot where you can put a, like a little lock, and right here as well, it is actually certified bear resistant by the interagency grizzly bear committee as you can see in that picture there that grizzly bear is trying to tear apart that cooler and he can't get in it's got the lock right there another lock right there so that is a good peace of mind to know especially where i go a lot like in the eastern sierra or my local san Bernardino mountains that have bears no grizzly bears but we got the black bears down here and they like to go through coolers i actually had a friend in mammoth that had a cooler destroyed where they were in their tent, left the cooler out, forgot to put it in the bear box, and that cooler destroyed, was destroyed by the bear, and they lost all their food. But it's a good uh, peace of mind to know on this cooler. Besides this little stainless steel handle here, put down, you've also got some grips right here on the side, one on this side, and then along the top. So this is sort of neat because I'm a fisherman. You've got a nice little ruler right here. I can throw my fish up here, say we're trying to keep some fish for dinner, and there's a size limit. It goes all the way up to 18 inches. Most places have a 12 to 15 inch size limit on some of the like striped bass, something like that. So I can put it up here. I can measure the fish when I get home. I can wash this off. That's gonna come off real easy. I don't know if you noticed the sticker here, but it is stain resistant, odor resistant, easier to clean because it has got microband on here. It is an antimicrobial product protection. So according to this other little piece that came with it here, it inhibits the growth of stain and odor causing bacteria and it makes the product easier to clean and built in antimicrobial protection for the lifetime of this product. Let's talk about how long the ice actually holds in this cooler. I've, I've got the little booklet here. So if you're using 100% cubed ice, 22 pounds, it says it lasts for four days. If you're using a third of food and drink, a two thirds of cubed ice, that's 16 pounds of cubed ice, it says three days. And now it says here for half food and drink, half cubed in ice, that's 12 pounds of cubed ice, that's two days, which is perfect for me on a backcountry trip, overnight trip, but uh, for a weekend trip, 16 pounds, or it's supposed to last three days. So we're gonna test this out and see how long it lasts. I may be putting in, a, like I said before, a few beers, a few drinks, water, sodas, and just see how long it actually lasts for. Uh, tips to achieving outstanding performance says use the right amount of ice. The amount of ice used is the most important factor in achieving long lasting ice retention. Let's get to the testing. I'm gonna put my drinks in here, my ice in here. I'm gonna bring it with me to work tomorrow, leave it in the car, and we'll see how long the ice actually lasts for. So let's get to it and see how it is. As you can see in here, I've got two root beers, one Angry Orchard, two iced teas, a ginger ale, a Gatorade, and seven waters. So let's see how long this uh, keeps everything cold for. Thank you. 
this has been closed for about eight hours now and you can see here temperature is 31.6 degrees let's open it up see how the ice is looking and as you can see still a lot of ice left so I'll check back with you tomorrow after work and see how it looks we are on day two if you can see that right there 32.2 degrees in here it's gone over about 30 hours now and let's see what it looks like inside still quite a bit of ice in here and that's pretty good for overnight and this has been in my car all day here in Southern California but here let me close that back up and I will check with you tomorrow and see how it is after another 24 hours we are at 54 hours later you can see here 39.9 degrees on the thermometer it's been in my car all day again and it is a nice 85 90 degree day out so it's hot in the car but let's see how much ice is actually in here if there's any left 54 hours later there is no ice water is cold drinks are cold so I'm going to close that back up and do one more test for you tomorrow and see how it looks like after another 24 hours. 78 hours later, let's see here, I am at 59.9 degrees inside the chest. That's not bad for 78 hours later sitting in my car in the heat today. When I left work it was in the mid 90s so just imagine how hot it was inside the car but let's take a look inside. Of course no ice left because there was no ice left yesterday but it is pretty cold in here still and everything is still nice and chilly it's showing 59.9 so after a few days on the trail you're coming back you've got cold drinks still 78 hours later not bad at all so what could I have done different to make sure that ice lasted even longer well first off I didn't need to put as many drinks in here I filled it up with as many drinks as I could and even though I had it all the way filled with drinks ice was all the way actually up to the top I could have shook it a little bit made sure the ice went all the way down and then filled it up all the way to the top ice would have lasted a little bit longer another option was maybe not putting as many drinks in there if I'm on a weekend trip I'm not gonna be putting in this many drinks unless I'm bringing a drink for everybody but usually it's just a few of us out there so I need maybe three to six drinks two per person so I would only have a uh, six drinks in here more ice definitely would have kept it colder and also food so if I'm out there uh, doing a car camping trip, I'm only going to have a few drinks for myself or whoever's with me. And then the food. So if we've got some burger patties or meat we're cooking up, that meat's going to be in there. And it's not going to take up probably as much room as all these drinks, but you never know. Another thing you can do to keep it to go a little bit longer is also uh, take your drinks, pre-chill them. So put your water in the uh, refrigerator or even the freezer. You can put your waters in the freezer and that's going to help keep everything a little bit colder too. The cooler here, I've had it in my car since Monday now and from the initial time I put in the ice it's been 78 hours. It's 59.9 degrees in there so that, you know what that means? Still cold. That's a nice cold root beer right there. And on top of that I am impressed with this and I believe this will be going out on me on many adventures now especially uh, just overnight trips when I get back to the car I know for sure everything's gonna be ice cold and if I go on a weekend trip it's still gonna be cold when I get back to the car check it out well worth it in my opinion I'll put a link below to their website and also where you can buy it at well I hope you enjoyed this one if you do give it a like give it a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber subscribe comment below always appreciate that until the next one thanks for having me